Could this time, make it like good. My involvement with the Buzzcocks started in 1978 when I went to see them live in Manchester, and it changed my life forever. Many years later, they asked me if I'd like to do a world tour with them. Well, you know, that was just a dream come true in itself. I think we're all aware of the Buzzcocks growing up. You know, they're one of those classic bands that, you know, is like the tippity top of it. That just felt like a very, you know, basic punk song, but with a lot of space there for me to try other things apart from sing. So, you know, show some moves. We played a track called Just Lust with Tim Burgess. I think the first time I heard the Buzzcocks was on Top of the Pops. I was 13 years old and he had a big impact on me. We're big fans of charlatans and obviously we're a little apprehensive, but he's a great guy. Kind of felt like he was part of our band for a moment. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny coming down from Iron Clute was just another massive scoop, really. And you stir my natural emotion. You make me feel like dirt. And it hurts. I chose to do Ever Fall in Love with Someone because it's a great melody in that song. And it's such a great melody that I'm able to mess around with it and alter it. Ever fallen in love with someone? You shouldn't have fallen in love with... We've got such a great little thing going on between everybody here, and the quality of the musicianship is so great that they can meander around a track and make it their own. Can I say a guitar? Like a proper guitarist. <laughs> I always loved the Buzzcocks, I've always loved Orgasm Addicts, and everyone likes sex, don't they? So, <laughs> that was a good reason for it. When we really got rolling, I did feel like I was playing in the Buzzcocks. I like that sort of feeling it got, and one of those dirtiest recordings I've ever made. really nice to do new stuff with versions of other people's songs. It's been a really interesting day mentally. I think Dare was like one of the biggest pop albums of my childhood, so it's kind of inescapable. I believe, I believe what the old man said But you know that there's no Lord above I believe in me, I believe in you And you know I believe in love We perform the song Seconds Seconds kind of just does all the verses in the beginning It's like a big long chorus Ours are like 70 BPM faster <laughs> Without the human league, I'd probably have ended up working in a bank. It's the whole reason. You know, if we got keyboards and stuff like that. I think it's been a brilliant experience. It's been a real kind of eye-opener and ear-opener, if that makes any sense. It's hard not to appreciate an artist like Madonna because, you know, she's been doing it for so long and seemingly by her own rules. I like the poppiness of her songs and it's been good the last couple of days listening to songs from a different point of view now. This is where I love to be, but it's my body, 
I was always aware of Madonna as a kid growing up. I never really got into it until fairly recently. I met the William Orbit album, Ray of Light. On Like a Prayer, we wanted to strip it back. It's a very melodic song, like really nice nerves and chords in there. It's like a dream. I think that was the one I enjoyed the most. Anita's got an amazing voice, and it's just, it's good playing with someone who can sing properly. What yeah. if Madonna was Scottish? And, um, Madonna. slightly balding. Vogue was a real struggle to figure out where to go. We just realised we had to totally change it and make it more silver columns, I think. But with a slight sprinkling of Ginger Middleton. It was a musical orgy. Whenever we remix other people's songs, we like to try and make it into a song that we could have made ourselves. So we basically just decided to translate the lyrics. I love the Casio Kids and I've always wanted to be a member, so uh, for like two days I'm going to be a, a member of Casio Kids, which is cool. Within the groove, I want to add a bit of my own accent to it. To be able to make something so combined and, and focused, it's just a testament to the generosity of the musicians, really. Somebody's asking me what's been the highlight of the week. The highlight of the week has been the week. Everyone that's been involved has just stepped up to the mark, and it's just been even better than I anticipated, really. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, I enjoyed it, but now, now I think we should go to the pub. <laughs> <laughs>